I've got this feeling that it's, it's, it's so scary. I've never felt it before. I felt like the whole country is closing up on me and I can't breathe. I don't think we really understood what it is like to be captive. I don't think we really understand what it's like to be ostracized. Every door, everything is closing around me, companies, business. Is this what the party feels like? Is this what it's like? Oh my word, I don't want more. South Africa and every country out there, we will remind them that we know what struggle is, that we've come from struggle. You're not going to beat us. Impossible. Impossible. We haven't been beaten before and we will never be beaten. Yeah. We will never put us back in the cage and sit ourselves in conflict with each other. We do not let this intrusion tear this country apart. This is for the rest of our lives. This is for our children. This is for our family. Are you going to fight for your friends because of an injection? Are you going to fight for your brother and sister today? Are you going to fight with your neighbor today? You stand firm. You stand strong. You make sure that they see your love, that they see your passion, and that they are reminded what, what makes up a human being. When they say walk to freedom, it has no meaning now. All those people out there that are afraid to speak, today, yeah, your voice needs to give them courage. Your voice needs to give them hope. Remind them freedom! We have to protect our children. You do not sign any consent. Homeschool, there's plenty of teachers that are sitting with other jobs that will gladly teach your children at home. Don't be afraid. And I also want to tell you that our court case for the urgent interdict will be heard on Tuesday. We are fighting to stop this jab. 85% has not been vaccinated. We are the majority. It will all end when you people start saying, No! 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 Let's go! you about a little thing that this government seems to have forgotten about. Do we live in an elected democracy? Or do we live in a fascist dictatorship? Yes, oh, no, no. Let me remind the government how this little game works. Every five years we elect them yes. to handle administrative tasks on behalf of us. We work we pay bills, we pay taxes, which pay their salaries to get the job done, which we tell them to do. It doesn't work the other way around. We're here today to tell the government that we pay their salaries, we put them in power, and if they aren't gonna listen to us, we're gonna take them out. Freedom, 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 freedom. Are we wearing our masks? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Are we social distancing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we are social distancing. <laughs> People all over the world. Basic principles of public health have been discarded. The lockdowns, the masks, the mass vaccination programs, none of them should have been expected to work. You just have to consult basic science to realize why. All of these strategies were ruled out by our prior pandemic guidelines everywhere in the world. And yet they were thrown out and discarded in favor of what is now quite clearly a political agenda. Yes. Yes. They have completely avoided all democratic process. We have to choose between a world that is inhumane, a world of technocratic control and surveillance, and the world that we prefer, the world of humanity, 
the world of human agency and bodily integrity. So join me in saying no to this nonsense. We don't have